Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I know I sure did. Fireworks, food, went to Milwaukee. We had the works. Just a really great weekend. But today I wanted to get in bright and early before we started the day to show off the new 2024 Surveyor Legend 303 BHLE. And I wanted to show it because they did a complete overhaul of the cosmetics. So the interior looks a lot different. Drop a comment, let me know what you think on its appearance. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. If you guys are in the market to buy an RV, I do sell them for a living, so I would love to hear from you, see if it makes sense to do a little bit of business. But I really like the Surveyor line because it is very well built. You even have a two inch all aluminum laminated flooring with block foam, insulated underbelly, you know, sealed with radiant foil, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, 2023 Surveyor Legend 303 BHLE. Six frame aluminum cage construction, you know, along with 12 volt heated tanks. You also get tire pressure monitoring system. Just a really high end travel trailer for sure. And this, even though this is a bunk model, I'm gonna start back in the bunk. I just wanna show off this decor. They went a little bit lighter, but also went with this kind of brown, which seems to be kind of taking over the industry. I know a lot of brands are moving to, towards that, but let me know what you think. So the 303 BHLE, obviously a bunk model. You get a slide back here, so you're going to get a ton of kind of walk around room. Right over here, you got two bunks with two big old windows. You even get a little ladder to help you get on top of this one for any of your you know, smaller kids to kind of jump up there. Uh, but I like it because each bunk has its own window, so you can pop it open, you know, for a nice breeze, and uh, hopefully really enjoy a good view. Underneath here, too, you got a little interesting little storage area, which I imagine, you know, putting some of your, um, you know, kind of stowaway items, I suppose. Emergency window out the back, just in case you need it. Pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry. You got another bunk right here. Again, another window. And then you have the easy open trifold sofa. Now, I'll show you how this opens up here when we get to the living room. And I got a little bit more space, but essentially you just lift it up and pull it out. You don't have to have any of this big cumbersome kind of laborious work to get the trifold out. So I really enjoy that feature and we'll see that here in a second. You also have outlets or USBs virtually everywhere on this. So USBs, USB, USB, another little light that I didn't turn on. But then right back here, you also have your TV backer. So there's this little butt, but, 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 ah. Fumbling the words, baby. It's been a five day little bender here. Went to a wedding. TV backer. It's got a little block of wood there so you can hang up a TV, hopefully on a swivel or something so everyone can really enjoy the view. You also have the appropriate plugins there as well. You could probably put yourself about a 50 inch or so. Another set of USBs and outlets right over here. And then you also see this door. And I like how it went with the kind of the darker tone there. You get another little half bath right here. Right there, boom, baby, got the old bowling gun. We do have a bowling tournament tonight. Per the request of a lot of people, I think I'm gonna try to go live for it. We'll see if it works. I don't know about the reception in the bowling alley, but I'm gonna try. Little medicine cabinet, that's pretty cool too. I've never seen that. Little toothbrush holder, I think that's pretty nice. Another outlet, you get a little sink. You get some access to your plumbing. And even this is kind of cool, the way the toilet holder, you know, the TP holder kind of goes up and down there. Little fan to help you suck out some of the stink. And then also here in the bunk room, you're gonna get two of these. So both of these are gonna be fairly large, looking just like a that. And then also right when you walk inside, you know, the main door, you get this really large pantry, which I like. You're also gonna see it's got the little glass pane right there as well, which is pretty cool. But check that out, it doesn't get much better than that. You know, whether you're packing away, you know, clothing, blankets, even maybe some food, use it as like a pantry. And then you get kind of the, um, I don't know if it's nickel or copper or whatever, but it looks pretty sharp there too. Hang up some, uh, hang up a couple jackets. 30 amp solar charge controller, lets you know what the solar's doing that's up on top. But yeah, what do you guys think about the new decor? This is that easy lift, the other one, so it's going to be the same one as the one in the bunk. But you also get big open windows in the surveyor, which I like, and they're all going to be tinted. The only downside is only this one and that one do open up so that way you can get a nice cross breeze, get some air flowing. But they all do come with the old Dracula shades, the night shades, keep some nosy eyes out, stop the furniture from sizzling up. You also get pretty good head height for a travel trailer as well. So I'm six feet tall, probably put you somewhere around five, seven or so for the, the head height, right just above your shot. 
But to lift these up, you put the, let's move the cushions down like this. You just take your hand, and keep in mind I got a camera, and just like that, you know, you drop it down, you flip that headpiece, and you're good to go. Easy, sleeping for two adults, you know, definitely a couple kids, no problem. And then to put it back, it's just the same. Boom. Now let me flip up the cushions here before the wife gets mad at me. Directly across from the sofa, you're also going to get your TV. You got a Sansui, my favorite brand to say. You also see you got one of the ACs up here, and it does have a dump valve. So if you want to put all the cold air disproportionately in this room, open that up and let the cold air flow, baby. Block distressed look there up top. You also get some of your control panels are going to be right here. So slides and awnings, your Furion sound system. That's going to have zone uh, one and two, so it's going to be inside and outside. You also get the new latches here for 2024, so that kind of that gold look right there. Pretty classic dinette, drops down to make a bed, but you get this fancy pants, little glass bowl right there as well, looking pretty sharp. You're also going to get a little bit of storage here up underneath, but you yank those metal legs out, drop it down into a nice cozy little bed. Whew, it is hot and muggy today. I'm sweating like a piggy. 12 volt refrigerator, and it's one of those fancy ones that open up. Oh, never mind. I'm, I apologize. I thought it opened up both ways, but uh, this one does not. That's good though, because more places to open, more places to uh, you know to break. I always say, but it's going to be a 12 volt refrigerator, so it'll run off of your solar, you know, your uh, battery, your truck when you're driving down the road. Of course, when you're plugged in, you're good to go. You also have your breaker box right there underneath. Central vac right here, so put your foot there, lift it up. You can suck in, you know, all the dirt and debris kind of from camping. You are good to go. You have an oven. It's also going to match up with that refrigerator, the Furion. So put yourself in a pizza, you know, bake some cookies, hopefully something good. And you got your three stovetop burner for all the other fixings. You also get yourself a little backsplash that doubles as a cutting board too, which I like. And you get the hood. So you have a fan mode, light mode, or no mode, I guess. Furion microwave, don't need to show you that. And I love how this looks. They put that black glass insert in there with the gold. I think it's just looking really sharp, but a really nice little storage area here up above. Plenty of countertop space. You're also going to see you got a window there for a good breeze. And then you got your single stainless steel undermounted bowl. Two more storage centers right here. And then you got a bottle opener for your cans of apple juice. Outlet. Shotgun style bathroom, so I know some people aren't the fan of it. I personally love it. You know, I got kids, so I think this is a good way to kind of, you know, I don't know, kind of keep the family all, you know, working close, but also get some separation without it being one open area. You can really close it up and you're good to go. A little bit of countertop space, another mirror with the medicine cabinet, a window underneath, more access to your plumbing and some storage. And then you get a couple of controls over here. You got your water heater, which is one of the fancier ones. You can check all your different gray tank heaters for um, your 12 volt uh, heating pads, which is nice. Another outlet, and this is where you can check the fill levels as well. And then your water heater is going to be uh, water heater and water pump, so you got electric for that. I'll tell you, it took a few days off. I forgot how hard it is to get back in the groove for these videos. The old porcelain throne. Babe, if, uh, if you're watching, I love you. Do the old porcelain test. Yep, it's porcelain. Place where you can hang up your uh, coats and whatnot, or your towels. Pretty big size shower. You know, again, I'm a bigger dude, and I'm gonna fit in here, you know, just fine. So it's not one of the super small ones where you gotta attach a sponge to the wall and, uh, you know, spin around to get clean. But I love this bed setup. So what they did here too, which is interesting, is underneath, you get the normal storage underneath, but then you also get the dresser drawers right here, which I love seeing that. You know, I'd probably put my boxers or socks, you know, something like around there. You also see it's got the struts. And then on both sides, outlets and USBs, outlets and USBs. And then you have access in the back for like little panels. So that way, you know, you can put a CPAP machine or whatever you need to power back there. You're also going to have an emergency exit right here, so pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry if you need to. Again, the Dracula shade. But the storage around both sides is pretty darn incredible. So you got some room for some hanging items. There's going to be both 
left and right. And then here up above, look how deep that goes. That's pretty darn snazzy. That's highfalutin right there. This is what it looks like back here behind. So you get the little shelf, little cubby, and then you can run the outlets actually through uh, these drawers. They extend out a little bit further so that way you can access them, you know, if you need to. Flip it around. This is going to be the other control for your other AC. So right there again with the dump valve. So open it up, let the cold air flow. Satellite, TV backer, and outlets. Little sliding door. But all right, guys, let me give you one more little peek here. And then we'll go around the outside, show you where everything is. And then I'm going to start my day and get back to work. So if you guys are buying an RV, you know, give me a call. It'll be a good day for it. Bath and a half, all the new decor. I think it's looking pretty darn sharp. That easy trifold. But all right, just in case you guys forgot, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And again, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be down in the description of this video. So dual entry, both entries are gonna have those solid steps right there. Oversized storage up front, which I love that. And that shows off some of that aluminum frame construction I was talking about. But they even put the linoleum going through here, which I think is nice, with a little nightlight. This side's going to be a little bit bigger for the opening than the other side, which you'll see. Manual stabilizing jacks are going to be a little bit stronger than some of those power jacks. You can get it optioned out with the power if you would like. Big old awning. I'm going to guess somewhere around 20 feet. You also get the LED lights there running underneath it. And then you get two marine grade outside speakers. Spray port right here for some access to some water. You also have the LP Quick Connect, and check out how buttoned and sealed up that is. Again, forced heat, 12 volt pads. It's also got the radiant foil, which is nice. So not only does it push heat in there, but it actively works to keep heat in there. So that way you can camp, you know, deeper into the seasons. Now you'll have a griddle that can go right on top of here, but this is just the holding place. You got the box that's right up in that pass through storage for that. Everchill refrigerator probably fits you up a 24 pack of apple juice, no problemo. Couple areas where you can put your TV, outside TV, and an outlet. You're gonna see dual axle. It's also got the Goodyear endurance tires. So I know people are a big fan of that. Here's the top features if you want to go ahead, you know, and pause that and take a little look ski. Solar on board. Right on the back, you got a bumper with a spare tire. You're also gonna see you are prepped up for the Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So $285, $295, it's a telescoping ladder. It hooks right into those two openings. So that way you can get on top of this fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides, you know, you'll be, you'll be good to go. You also have right here, that little black box. That's where you're prepped up for the Furion observation camera. So 550 bucks, suction cup that bad boy right onto your windshield. You can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. Also, you can angle it down at your bumper and it has a little microphone so that way you and whoever you're camping with can communicate while you're back here and up in the trunk. It's kind of like a little argument stopper. You also see those little black kind of sleeves, I guess I would call them. That is for a slide topper. So both of these slides can have a slide topper on them. They run you 700 bucks a piece, but what it is, is a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it stops any debris from hitting on top of the camper. It just makes it kind of more maintenance free. Also helps out with some of the heat and you know, just kind of mitigating any type of issues that this camper can have for you you know, as you kind of progress throughout the years. Black tank flush, it's gonna be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, satellite and cable. This is where you're gonna plug in. This is gonna be your 50 amp cord and then your city water connection. Underneath here, you have your sewer, sewer dump. Shoo, I'll tell you, it's eight in the morning, but it is blistering hot already. I'm gonna be sweating my giblets off all day. There's the other tank right there. Low point drains under here and you got your second black tank flush. So again, it's a second sprinkler there for your poop tank. Back end of the hot water heater. This is gonna be where you connect your fresh water. It's also gonna be the on-demand water heater too, which a lot of the brands are going for. And I also like this. So these little slam latch doors are pretty nice, but they're just really sturdy feeling. You also got the magnetic latch there as well. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, it's the 2024 Surveyor Legend 303 BHLE. My name is Hunter. Hit that subscribe button for future RV content. Have a good day. See ya.
Man, 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 man